See you upsetting Cal Saturday. They Matt, are. At least give him some confidence. Matt was there to speak, dog. This is the real. People don't realize. They when are. They're going to. That are passionate. Usually the team actually balls that week. I, I don't know if I've ever spoke to a team on the week of a game that they didn't win. <laughs> well, I went up there and, and on Tuesday and really talked to them about, you know, there's a lot of, like, ex-players that go back and they sit there and they're like, back in my day when we were great. And I, I don't like taking that route. If they want to learn about the history, they can go read the media guide, right? They know. Coach, the head coach isn't going to walk some chump out there that can't fucking play. There's no fans out there talking to the team and shit. They know, they know me, and I've worked with so many of the guys. I've placed so many of them there, and I've worked with so many of them that there's really some mutual respect there just between ball, between players and coaches. So I talked to them about, you know, just the entire country is is shitting on you right now. Like you're, you're own five. You've been, everyone's covering you in dirt saying you're not going to win a game. You are in control of this. You have a chance to Cal walks in here Saturday. You can walk the fucking gate on these guys and beat the shit out of them and Folsom and change the narrative. It's easy. You've had a week off. You're flying around in practice. Things have changed. Like the atmosphere when Darrell was there, and the atmosphere at the practice I watched the other day were night and day. I mean, it was fucking crazy how different it was. So, as you know, with these young guys, it's one of the things I love about college football. It's so unpredictable because these are they're 18, 19, 20, 21 year old young men. Like they're not professionals yet. And there, there's a lot that can a lot of momentum and emotion can be generated off of spite and things like that and i used you know I, I talk to coaches all over the fucking country you know this so all i do is recruiting right i place kids all over the country every weekend we got guys we've got like 30 guys in boulder on saturday just to go meet coach sanford and like really start the new regime even if he is the intern he wins three or four games he's going to be the fucking coach so you know trying to build that relationship that's what we do and you know it's everything that we're doing in that regard and pushing towards that, these, these fucking kids, they have such an opportunity to go change the narrative, bro. And I think they can, like, it, it's so easy to get them motivated off of spite. I talked to one of the coaches at Cal and they said to me, we think we can get everybody on the plane in the game this weekend. And I, I as a business professional, I'm sitting there like, yeah, okay. Uh, I guess if that's the way you're thinking, okay, I don't work for CU. He's talking to me about recruiting and he just said it. And I look, I'm a competitor dog. And that kind of pissed me off as that's my alma mater. And it's really the only thing I truly love in football. Everything else is business. That's my passion. Um, and I fucking use that shit. I went up and told them like, they think they're just going to come in here and everybody on the plane is going to get on the plane afterwards with their box of fucking chicken. And sit there and talk about the plays they made. And they can't wait to post them on Instagram and blah, 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 blah. Like, who the fuck were they? These guys. Lock the gates on them and make them earn every fucking inch and play your balls off for the guy next to you. And good things will happen. That's the way this fucking works. So, look, yeah. I think that regardless of what perceived talent level in college, and you know this better than anyone, bro. The, it, there's true parity between players. There's very few true superstars. Every other kid, you find out how to motivate them, condition them mentally and physically as hard as humanly fucking possible so they are hard mentally and, can, and will fight. That's all I care about. Be in shape to go to war and then fucking fight. When, it's, when we have three hours on Saturday to get down, and you get to tape your fucking mitts and you get to put on a helmet and, and armor and go fucking physically assault another human for your brothers to win a game. Like there's nothing better than laying on the field, totally exhausted, victorious. The great Vince Lombardi said that there's no better feeling on earth. And I agree. So when you sell out and you put a week of work into with this and a whole off season and everything else that goes into this, and it's not just three hours of fantasy football entertainment for some fucking fan. 
bro, there's no better payoff in the world. That's why we do this shit. That's why we do what we do. There's a difference between only football reason. fans and football people. Only fucking – well, this is the thing I'll say like that. I'll sum all that up right here saying this. People don't realize – I used to tell my young coaches when I cussed them out and everyone said I'm an asshole. Dog, we work the game. We don't watch the game. Exactly. I tell coaches that shit every day. People think they're in the press box, all this shit. Oh, what fucking spin move. I used to cuss their dumb ass out. I heard them. <laughs> fucking bitch, you're working the game. We ain't fucking watching the game. Go in the fucking stands in, motherfucker, and I'll take your check away. You fucking dumbass. We got so many coaches out here watching the game instead of coaching the game. And well, you know it, what, it, Matt? To be honest, they don't know how to coach the game, dog. Well, that that's the thing is I don't think that there's – I really think that there's a lack of really, really good coaches. Like, there's guys that can motivate, but I don't know if there's guys that can really teach as much as they say they can. 